Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So today I have a very interesting topic. I'm going to be speaking all about my major, which is information systems. I have a feeling this is going to be quite a long video, so I'm going to try and have a little bit of structure. So first of all, I'm going to just define what it is and kind of talk about why I chose to study it. And then secondly, I'm going to talk about all the stuff that I learned throughout my degree. Thirdly, I'm going to discuss some career options. And then finally, just kind of like a general overview slash experience. So yeah, if that's something you're interested in, then just stay tuned. All right, so first of all, I just want to define information systems. I think a lot of people have no idea what it is. In fact, when I chose to study it, I don't even think I really knew what I was getting myself into. So the dictionary definition of information systems is that it covers the analysis and design of systems, including areas such as computer networking, information security, database management, and decision support. A lot of stuff there, but I guess to unpack it and break it down, I think simply information systems is basically just about the technology, so like software and systems that helps organizations um, function and run. So in terms of why I chose it, I think you have to understand that I study a Bachelor of Business. So like many people, I kind of just stumbled into a business degree. I actually wanted to study computer science originally, and I didn't get into that course, so I thought business were kind of like the next best option. Obviously, information systems is kind of like the most technical thing, which is, I guess, uh, the closest thing to computer science, so it just made sense to me. I also thought that there's a lot of um, good career options, like in technology, and to be honest, uh, my <laughs> university has these like career pamphlets, and information systems had, I think, one of the higher salaries, so that definitely did play a part. But yeah, ultimately, it just seemed like the most interesting major, and seem to have like a good, you know, outlook for the future. So that's why I chose information systems. In terms of what I learned throughout my degree, it can differ a lot depending on where you go to university and also the path that you take. For example, information systems can sometimes come under a Bachelor of Science. And then there's also like a business route, which is the Bachelor of Business or Bachelor of Commerce. So I did a more business focused degree throughout my degree, which is three years long. There's about one semester of core papers, so just like core business knowledge, and then another semester which is like an internship, so like practical experience, and then also one year or equivalent of just kind of general education like other elective courses. So when you break it down, I only really studied one year of information systems papers. Within that one year, the first paper that I took was just a general kind of introduction to information systems. So it talked about a lot of things, including, you know, key components of like hardware, software, like networks, a bit about data, and basically just all how these things um, are integrated into like companies and how they can use technology for decision making and collaboration and like having a competitive advantage. So that was a fairly easy paper. Um, I think a lot of people actually took that class, um, even though they weren't majoring in information systems. It's just kind of like a good general knowledge to have. And then in second year, I took three papers relating to my major. So firstly was business process management. This was more kind of like a business focused paper just around like strategy and, you know, planning different like functions of a business. So you had to kind of just like make diagrams of like you know, how a business um, process would work. So for example, if you're running a restaurant, you'd have, you know, like the stock gets delivered, um, people prepare it, customers come, and just kind of like mapping everything that happens really. And then also you kind of had to find like ways that a business could run more efficiently. So for example, using technology to automate something or yeah, stuff like that. So that was a fairly um, easy class, pretty interesting. And then the second one was business data management. So this was definitely very technology heavy. We used SQL, which is a kind of database management language. It's basically like very low level programming. Luckily, I took a programming course using Python before this. So SQL was pretty easy um, in comparison. But yeah, so basically the whole class was just based around like writing queries, um, joining tables and databases and that kind of thing. So, so I really like that because um, it was like a tangible skill that I felt like to talk about, you know, when like applying to internships and jobs and that kind of thing. And then the last one that I took in second year was called project management. So this is kind of your, just your generic, um, you know, team based <laughs> business paper where, you know, you're working through a project and you have to like do assignments and collaborate and talk about, you know, how to work effectively as a team, um, various like risks 
that could affect your projects and like you know just being on budget and on time and all that good stuff so yeah that's pretty interesting um i learned about like agile methodology to be honest i felt like this was very theoretical and i don't feel like it was as beneficial as the prior papers but in saying that you know it was still still a good time and i still definitely learned a lot and then for my final year i took three more papers to do with information systems so the first one was called Enterprise Information Systems. So a lot of this was like implementing enterprise information systems. So for example, things like SAP and just basically managing um, technical change within a business. It was fairly um, basic as well. I think by this point, I was already just kind of like over uni. So um, I wasn't super like engaged, um, but I also felt like for some reason, second year was the most difficult. So um my final year papers were actually pretty easy in comparison. Uh, another paper that I took was called Cybersecurity and Risk Management. Um, this was pretty interesting as well. Uh, I think in general, I was just interested in cybersecurity. So we learned about just like basic risks and assessments and, you know, how hackers can like get into businesses and a little bit about encryption as well, which is really interesting. Uh, and then finally, I took a class called e-business management. So again, this was kind of like an elective as part of my major, but yeah, just pretty basic um just running an online business and you know how to like work effectively and competitive advantage and like value propositions so this was like a very kind of business heavy paper um but yeah so that was all of my classes and everything that i basically learned throughout my degree um depending on like the uni that you go to it may be a little bit more technical or even less technical i think that if you're taking it under a bachelor of science it's probably going to be focused a little bit more on um, the technical side and less on the business side uh, but personally for me I think I've enjoyed studying it under a Bachelor of Business because I got to kind of get a mix of both worlds and I feel like I have a good amount of business knowledge and technical knowledge so that I can really go like into a wide variety of different careers which I will now talk about. So information systems I think is one of the best majors in terms of career options so there are basically two kind of direct options. So first of all is business analyst. So basically this person goes into a business, kind of looks at what's going on already and uses all their, you know, technical skills and knowledge um, to figure out like better solutions to problems and basically just how they can become better. The second one is database administrator. This is kind of more on the technical side. So I guess it's using your SQL and yeah, organizing databases um, for businesses. So for example, managing things like CRM, which is like the customer database. Uh, so if you imagine like a retailer, they have a bunch of customers. So, you know, you have to keep records of all their names, phone numbers, addresses, and that kind of thing. And then along with that, you've also got a lot of other careers that aren't directly related, but you can definitely go into. So first of all is data analyst. Data analyst is a pretty broad term. Nowadays, like a lot of roles have the word data in them and analyst in them. But essentially, it's around working with like big data. So using things like Excel and spreadsheets and programming languages as well to capture um, insights and how businesses make decisions with their data. There's also solutions architect, which is kind of similar. Honestly, I don't know a ton about it, but yeah, I guess you're managing kind of like infrastructure and it's also IT related. And then you've got your less technical roles, such as project manager. So again, this is pretty generic, but uh, I think the information systems degree gives you a lot of the skills that you would need. For example, like organization, being able to work with data and be analytical and also product manager, which is kind of similar. I guess it's kind of like a mix of both technical business and also a little bit of design. And then, of course, you have also consulting, which, again, is pretty generic, but um, I think it prepares you well, especially if you want to go into the tech sector you can also do cyber security as well um it's not a directly related role but a lot of entry-level cyber security roles don't require like specific degrees so having a background um, in technology would be really helpful and then of course you have your investment banking which doesn't have really specific requirements but i think infosys prepares you quite well just in terms of like their analytical ability you have academia <laughs> so you can be a professor if you want to do like a master's and a PhD. I think that the field is definitely growing and expanding so I think there's going to be um, a lot of need for like people that are wanting to educate and then lastly is start your own company so you could potentially go into a startup as well. I think Infosys gives you a, a good background for that as well. Um, well I guess I have to speak from my experience but I don't feel like I've learned 
a ton about coding. So if you really want to make your own company, perhaps it's better to do computer science degree. So you really get strong technical skills. But if you're not really like an engineer person, I think Infosys is a good in between. And then you could also just get like a technical co-founder and then you guys will be sweet as. So yeah, just finally <laughs> to wrap up. Overall, I've had a great experience studying information systems. I think it was one of the best decisions that I've ever made. And if you guys are going into university and thinking of a major, I definitely recommend Infosys. I do wanna give a little bit of a disclaimer because I did just mention a lot of career options. However, currently I'm in the process of applying for jobs and I will say it is still a challenge. I think especially if you're going for big companies and like graduate programs, it's still gonna be competitive. However, I know there is definitely a shortage for experienced workers. So I think once you have like two or three years of experience, then your skills are going to be really in demand. It's definitely going to be pretty easy to get a job. So yeah, that's kind of it for this video. I hope you guys have found it interesting and informative and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!